Oh man, dude. Um, I gotta save people. <laughs> I think that's my duty in life is just to save people, man. I mean, I don't know what to do. It's it's so out of control right now. They, everybody. My goodness. Reality television has gotten to the point where how did we become dumbed down so much that we don't realize that that isn't real? We go out and act like reality television out in real life in the streets. People emulate what they see on a television. If I told you the Cosby show, that's real. And we went out and tried to emulate Bill Cosby in there and tried to think I was Theo or something. Or if I tried to emulate Star Wars and walked around every day outside with a lightsaber, people would say I was crazy. Using the force to try to stop cars. People would think, man, he's big gone. Right? I mean, you look at these reality shows, and you try to go out and act like this in public. People who don't watch this stuff, who are sane, look at you as if you're crazy. Because you're trying to act out what you saw on a show. And take it as if this is real life. And this, it affects everybody. I mean, if you're black, white, they got, they got the dumb show for you. If you're white, they got the dumb show for you. If you're people of color. Reality television is the reason why these television actors and writers are like, my God, I can't believe this crap is what people are watching now. We have a great program that's story driven with great writing and no one wants to watch it. Well, it's more closer to real life than this crap here. I mean, there's like no story at all. Throw four people in a house and a camera and see what happens. The last person who's still in the house is the winner of $50,000. You'd be like, what? what? Well, what is the task? They just got to survive being together. Then all of these fake fights and it's teaching people how to be dumb and ratchet. I just don't like it. And then you see these washed up rappers and, you know, their careers are done. They ain't got nothing else left. So here they are on the program. And I'm just like, oh, my God. I hate to knock people's hustle, you know. And this is not a stripe on the producers of the show, the Mona Scotts and everybody else. It's not a knock on y'all, but how you get your money. But it's just not for me. And I just don't know how people could watch it. And why does it have to be a show that makes us as black people look bad at all times? I mean, The Bachelor make white people look even stupider, too. I mean, Flavor of Love was good the first season. Then it just got ridiculous. You got girls, you know, dropping feces on the floor. You know, just a lot of stuff was just not making sense to me. By the time they got to the end of that. And they just dumbed everything down. You know, and it's just the bachelors. You slept with all these girls and why you haven't slept with me? You know, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, if that happened in real life, do you know that that would not be the case? But they dumb these girls down to think that this is the norm. Because it's on television. Now, everybody is following a pattern of monkey see, monkey do. It is terrifying. It is scary. And it is pitiful to watch. 
I'm angry. I'm really I'm I'm angered by it. I'm angry because we should we should be past this by now. Past it. Light years past all of this. Disappointed, man. As people, we should be better. You understand what I'm saying? We should be better than this. We got to do better as a people. Because we're failing ourselves. We're failing our future. Our kids. I knew a kid that was so bright and so smart as a baby. Who once her mom got her watching and hooked on these reality shows. She's far too young to be watching. It just diluted her mind. Now she's out here with a baby, young, trying to figure it out. Breaks my heart. Breaks my heart in half. You know, it's, it's, it's sad that our society is going through this. And then they, people talking about this Pedra thing. And I'm like, who in the hell is Pedra? What show was she on? And I, you know, this, this comes off the stem of an argument I had, you know, so we just had it out about, I do everything, then when you want to do something, it's all cool because you want to do it, but if I want to do something, I got to get criticized, I got to be called stupid for wanting to watch it, and I'm like, no, 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 it's not what I said, I've watched plenty of stuff that you watch, which is purely trash, but I watch it with you. It's just that if I know it's trash and I'm watching it with you, meaning that I'm there for your company and this is for you. This is your ride. You don't have to like what I watch. You don't even have to be there when I watch it. I don't got to ask you, come on, baby, you got to watch this with me. Come on, baby, please. I don't need you to watch nothing with me. If you don't want to watch it, bet. <laughs> That's on you. I'm watching it for my entertainment. So I don't need you and your authority of being there. Now, if you, it's cool if you want to watch it with me. I get it. But if you don't, I'm not going to force you to do it. So, she wanted me to watch some reality show thing. I've watched plenty of these things with her before. But it's the one time you say, uh, I can't do it. I got to go live in 20 minutes. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'd be like, exactly. Exactly. That's my point. So, now if a reality show is helpful, like if they're teaching you something, or they're teaching you tools or life, life lessons or things of that nature, you know, I could see, you know, it's a, it's a show that's interesting, a smart show, but this isn't smart. This is a bunch of people acting ratchet for money. And they're getting a check. And you people think they live these outstanding lives. Some of these people getting $5,000. Like, they're getting $5,000 an episode. They're making a lot of money. I mean, $5,000 $5, is not a lot of money, even per episode. Serious. Not a lot of money. Okay? But you guys don't understand that you gotta pay rent, you gotta pay bills. So five thousand dollars ain't a lot of money. I don't know what they told you, but five thousand dollars ain't a lot. $5,000 will be gone quick. So, I mean, I'm just telling you the truth, people. Then you got this, um, these uh, other reality shows that they got, like, where they go to, like, West Virginia and find these real hick towns. Be 13 and pregnant. I'm like, this is actually a real show? Dance Moms. And they just show the other side of the coin and to dumb down the Caucasian folks and my goodness 
when they go to these trailer home backwood countries and 13 and pregnant and and she was sleeping with Elmer and then she's with Bud and Bud sitting there like I'm like what in the world is this this guy sitting there with some overalls belly hanging out with a t-shirt and she's how could you do this to me I'll be like why are you staying with him <laughs> For that half a trailer, you might as well you can get out and get that on your own. <laughs> the hell are you fighting over him for? And he's sitting there with another chair. You ain't treating him right, that's why. And you even smoking my my my, that's my lights. I need my Marlboro lights. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what has happened to American television? Who have done this to us? Who said green light that? <coughs> it's over, man. This game is over. <laughs> I mean, really. If you don't have the willpower to, to keep yourself away from stuff like that, My problem is, if you can watch it and accept it as entertainment, then fine. But if you can't do that, and you watching it, and you taking it as face value, then you got a problem. You got a real problem. Because I don't understand, for the life of me, how somebody could sit there and watch this thing happen the way it is, and how it's going down, and be like, man. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'll be like, what? Then you see these people out here just trying to spend all this extra money to do the things that they've seen on a television show when people are spending thousands of dollars and that they have tens of thousands and you want to have these kind of parties. And I'm going to have my white party. Then you got to have the white party first. Then you do the other party, the pink party. Then you have the birthday party. That's how it goes. I mean... What, on the show? <laughs> you better live within your means. You having one party, if that. I don't know what y'all be thinking. Y'all losing y'all whole brains out here. Chicks living in these fantasy worlds. Getting these $800 purses when you make $400 a week. Duh. Makes no sense. And that goes for the guys too. Quit trying to dress like these doggone dudes on reality TV. Make yourself look like clowns. Straight clowns. I be seeing them up in the club trying to get the hair all curled. I'm like, oh, they bringing that back? The Jerry Curl with the lined up fro? Who are you, who are you trying to be ghosts? <laughs> hey man, nasty R&B singer. Who y'all trying to be today? Man, they have failed us with American television. I mean, I, I'm out, man. <laughs> You can leave me a cash app donation for this if you want. Y'all already know my name. I'm not even asking for it. I'm just drained. Just from the conversation I had to this, I just had to vent because this is getting out of hand, man. It is, it is really bad. I can't believe parents like children watch stuff like this. There's no place for it. 